What's up everyone? What is happening? Okay, in this video I'm exploring underneath uh, a 17-story building here in Queens, New York. This is the boiler room. Uh, as you can see, these are two twin boilers. This is for the steam heating system. Actually, I did a lot of work in this building. I'm a plumber by trade. Worked on these boilers. We're here to actually do a, a sprinkler system, a fire suppression system that we're putting in. So uh, for people who have never seen what it looks like in the basement of a commercial, in the boiler room at least, of a commercial building, this is just a, a slight glimpse of what it looks like if you were down here. Pretty warm, lucky you're watching this video from the comfort of your home. Uh, this is uh, the domestic water heating system. This is the units that heat up the, the, the water, the drinking water. Pretty inter interesting stuff here. There's a, a water tank I actually installed a couple years ago. And this is interesting. Now, the owner of this building owns multiple buildings not too far from where I live. So that's why there's this picture here. Uh, these are the buildings that are owned by the same owner of the building that I'm in. My house is actually over here somewhere. This is the Sheep's Head Bay section of Brooklyn. This is Brighton Beach. Uh, interesting. It's a photo of my neighborhood, or at least the neighborhood I live in. Not where I grew up, but just where I live. So now I'm going to take you upstairs. We're going to go to the next room, exploring the next basement. Not very scary. I guess I should have turned the lights off to make it a little spookier. There's, that's the oil tank room. I don't think they use it anymore. Oh, they probably still do. Those boilers are a dual, dual fuel flame, so they fire on two oil and natural gas, mostly natural gas. They don't really use oil too much anymore. And this is the chiller room. This is where it gets a little dark and noisy, but at least it's nice and cool in here. Hence the name chiller room. This is where they chill the, uh, the water that they use for the AC units. I don't really, I've done some work in this room, but I don't work on these units. Just another day at the office, I guess, right? These monster units. conduct the test they have to check the units to uh, make sure the, the certain bacteria that's in the line there's the chart that they check for just to make sure that there's no contamination because people can get real sick off there was an incident in the Bronx uh, a couple years back uh, people were contaminated uh, uh, by whatever bacteria was in the uh, in the units so that's pretty much it This is pretty much what my day looks like. Just a little exploring the underworld of a commercial building here in New York City. Uh, just to, I guess, give you guys an inside look on, on what it's like, how they operate, how buildings operate, what goes on under the street level. Uh, if you're a plumber or electrician or, you know, uh, you do mechanical work, HVAC work, stuff like that, you've been in these rooms a million times, but you're not very impressed. So obviously this is for people who are not very familiar with what goes on, you know, underneath uh, underneath some of these commercial buildings. I hope you guys enjoy this video and what you're seeing. And now I'm gonna take us out of here to an elevator. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.